Greetings to you in Lord Jesus name. My precious people of God. Today I would like to share with you from Ephesians chapter 5 verses 14 till 18 and understand what the will of God is upon our lives. Here the Bible says, Awake you who sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. The Lord is expressing here, if we are sleeping or if we are in a spiritually a dead state, the Lord is addressing that state. And the Lord is saying here, I am willing to rise you up, but wake up from your sleep, the Lord says to you. My precious people of God, when you wake up from that state of sleep, from the state of slumber, the Christ will give you light. The Lord is willing to give his light to you so that when his light shines within you, the darkness cannot comprehend it. God's may the word of the Lord dwell in you richly and may the Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, shine within you so that you will bear the light of God to the nations of the world. My precious people of God, let us understand one thing. When we rise up from the state of sleep, from the state of, from the state of slumber, from the spiritual dead state, but becoming alive in the Lord, God's light will shine in you. And the Lord is also saying, that you should not be like fools. We should be wise in redeeming our time for the days are evil. Therefore, do not be unwise, but understand that the will of the law, what the will of the Lord is. The will of the Lord is, is to wake up from our state. The next thing the Lord says in the 18th verse, we can only rise up from the state of slumber by redeeming our time. We can only become wise by redeeming our time. When we have redeemed our time, when we want to become wise, we need to understand the will of the Lord is. In the 18th verse, the Lord reveals that. Do not be drunk of wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. That is the will of God. It's the will of God is to be filled in the Holy Spirit. My precious people of God, God is willing to give you more of the power of the Holy Spirit. Are you willing to rise up to receive the power of the Holy Spirit? You can know you and I can only be filled with more of His Holy Spirit only by redeeming our time. When we redeem our time in the Lord by waiting upon the Lord, you and I will be filled in the Holy Spirit. And that is the will of God. What the will of the Lord is. Do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. The will of the Lord is to be filled in the Holy Spirit by waiting upon Him is the will of God. You and I need to be waiting upon the upon, upon Lord Jesus Christ. Wait upon His presence and He will fill you with more of the Holy Spirit. Verse number 26 it says, Ephesians 5:26 it says, the Word of God says, that He might sanctify and cleanse her Cleanse her is the church he's referring to. God is willing to cleanse us by the washing of the water by the word of God. Now God is expressing that he can sanctify the church, the body of Christ, by washing of the word of God. More amount of word of God that, you, that we read, the more amount of water, so word of God dwells in you and we will be cleansed and sanctified by His Word. Redeem our time, not only by praying, redeem our time by reading the Word of God 
that our vessel will be sanctified. The vessel that is sanctified is ready for the master's use. God is willing to use you once the vessel is been sanctified and set apart. One last word I would like to encourage you is from Ephesians 6, verse number 24, which is the last verse of Ephesians. Grace be with you all those who love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. God is saying, when we love the Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity, when we love Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity, the grace of Lord Jesus Christ will be upon you all. The grace of God can only flow when you love Him. That is the key. When you love Him with sincerity, with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul and strength, then abundance of His grace will come upon you. Once you get the abundance of His grace, you will receive His abundance of your power, abundance of His prosperity, abundance of His grace. You will be able to achieve what you want in your life by the power of His grace according to His will and according to His purposes. The Lord wants you to know He is willing to give you the grace. He is willing to give you the grace when you love Him in a with a sincere heart. To conclude, redeem our time being wise people by being filled in the Holy Spirit and that is the will of God. And by sanctifying ourselves by the Word of God, by redeeming our time, and reading the word of God is the will of the Lord. And the last is to love the Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity so that his grace will be with us. It will be with those who love the Lord in sincerity. The word of God is called as the words of grace. The spirit of God is called as the spirit of grace. I pray right now that may the spirit of grace and supplication and may the words of grace dwell with you within you and with you richly let me pray for you all heavenly father i pray for those people who are watching right now and who are praying with me O oh father i pray O oh lord as they redeem their time as they rise up to that state of father when they make up their mind that they need to be filled in the Holy Spirit, I pray, O oh God, that you would give them that abundance of your grace, abundance of the power of the Holy Spirit. Help them to be filled with more of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, you are willing to give more of the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray, O oh Lord, Help them to be filled with more of the power of the Holy Spirit. May their vessel be sanctified by thy Holy Spirit and by the word of God. As they read thy word of God, I pray that you would sanctify their vessels, O Father, by thy word of God, O Lord. John 17, 17, the Bible says, O God, sanctify them, O Lord, by thy word. The word of the Lord is the truth as they sanctify themselves by the word of God and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray, O oh God, let them have victory in every area of their lives, O oh Father. I pray, O oh God, may your grace dwell with all those, O oh Father, who love you with a sincere heart, I pray, O oh Father. He who are listening to this prayer and who are agreeing to this prayer, I pray, Help them to receive your abundance of your grace and abundance of your power. Help them to walk in power of the Holy Spirit. Help them to walk in the grace of God, O Lord. Help them to stand and walk in the grace of God all through the days of their lives, O Father. May your grace abound with them. May your love abound with them, O God. I thank you. For you have heard our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and Amen.
and Amen. God bless you all richly. Amen.